Welcome to RJ's Tobacco Review show number 33. Thank you, Max, that's Red Bull, double five, double five, double two, for doing the in the pack spot with me. On the review show, you're going to have Rossman's Convertibles, not available in the UK. Chesterfield Rolling Tobacco, not available in the UK. L&M Reds. And finally, Interval 100% Tobacco, added for free, rolling tobacco. As per normal, if you don't want to watch the whole review show, that's okay. Click on the various links I've put in the description, or I'll put the timings in, which i I put as well, and it'll clip, go straight to that section. If you want to watch the whole review show, you're more than welcome to, and I hope you enjoy it. This is going to dissolve and we'll be back in two seconds. Stay lit. Okay, first product. Rossman's of London Convertibles. That's what the pack design looks like. It's in French. The hell's warning. And to basically telling you don't smoke if you're pregnant. Is it harms your baby? Made by British American Tobacco. Let's unbox I love Rossmans in the UK, but they don't sell these convertibles. They're a king size, sorry, a super king size. I'll just get a king size cigarette so you can see. But interesting, the filter's not very big. So it's extra tobacco. Just what the doctor ordered. Here's the clip button. Some of it I'll be smoking unclipped and some of it clipped. Where it turns methanol. Okay. Rossons were established in London in 1890. In them, they have 85% tobacco, 6% paper and cigarette, 9% agents and flavourings, and tyre nicotine wise, 10 milligrams of tar, 0.7 milligrams of nicotine, 8 milligrams of carbon dioxide. Nice tar levels, is a smooth cigarette, but nicotine wise, it could do with a tiny bit more strength. It's still acceptable, don't get me wrong. But, I do like a bit of full on nicotine, as you guys know. It's not as good as Rossman's Blues on the Internationals. Unclicked. So let's get it clicked and see what the flavouring does. And I'll change it does this. You might have heard that. Very fresh and mental taste, not overpowering, quite subtle really. But I could do with these cigarettes a little bit stronger. Right, I'll 
was just looking at the time on the camera. If you're watching this as a standalone video, click back to the RJ's Tobacco Review Show, which is part of. If you're watching the whole thing, thank you for staying with me. And at any time, in down in the description, you can click to various individual bits of the review show as you desire. So quality tobacco, good burn time, very fresh in taste, very similar to Dunhill in quality. But sadly not the nicotine hit which I really desire. Acceptable, so overall marking, I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. Thanks again, Max, for doing this as a pack swap. And because I've got four products to get through, I'll be capping this video in a minute. And the next one up will be Chesterfield Red Rolling Tobacco. All these products on this week's tobacco review show are all brand new products which I've never tried before. I'll be back in two seconds. Stay there. Hi right, guys, this section deals with Chesterfield. Tobacco rolling tobacco, established 1896 and it's the original version of rolling tobacco. Thanks again to Max, Red Bull 555522 for doing these in the pack swap. Let's get a smell. It's got a very rich smell. That's what it looks like. And also a little bit sweet. It's got 89% tobacco and agents and flavourings, etc. 11%. Made by Philip Morris products. That's what it looks like, 30 grams worth. Let's get an unfiltered one lit up and I'll give you my rating, mate. It's really pleasurable. It's a lot better than the cigarettes. In the UK they sell Chesterfield as a sort of budget to mid price cigarette. But this rolling tobacco is quality. Nice mid strength. It's not the strongest rolling tobacco on the market, but it delivers. Nice nicotine hit. And the RJ's liking this a lot. Without the filter, I'm going to give this 9 out of 10, one of the better ones I've tasted, and I've done quite a lot of rolling tobaccos. This is going to dissolve to keep the upload times quicker, so I'll be back in two seconds with the filtered one. Enjoy. Okay guys. Chesterfield original rolling tobacco with a filter. I'm saying it's a little bit spicy as well. Not 
nice nicotine hit, quality tobacco, and it's tasting great. Even with the filter, I'm still giving this a 9 out of 10. If you can get hold of some, RJ recommends it. And thank you so much, Max, for sending it to me in a pack swap. Philip Morris, can you be available in the UK, please? Personal message to them. Um, in a minute, this is going to dissolve and we're going to have a short advert break. It's by Brass. He's done a song. And please check out his channel, Amber Affair. And the link's down in the description. Long with the lyrics of the song. I hope you enjoy it. If you're watching this as a standalone video, Click back to the main tobacco review show if you want to see the other tobacco products. If you're staying with me, thank you for sticking with me. And I'll be back in 90 seconds. So I've got a little bit of cold. And I hope you enjoy this tobacco review show. Chesterfield. Without filter. Wonderful. With the filter, just as good. Stay lit, guys, and thanks for watching, and be back after this break. I was born in a nice place where people are so stressed. They don't even think of music in their head. I have to tell them. A little message That work is back again in the 21st century I'm here to tell you That rock is back again So if you wanna rock I want to be a rocker I might need a bit of help Shout out, you might know her boyfriend as Lucas, that's from the UK, that is all I am, or is also on here as Lucas G. His girlfriend plays piano and her name is Savenger, sorry, Svenger, sorry if I pronounce that wrong, she's from Sweden. Her channel name is Vivi Sar. I'm going to do a 30 second clip of her playing piano. And a link down there, please go and sub her. Enjoy. And be back with a review show after. Welcome back guys, now for LNM Mates, if you're watching this as a standalone video, go back to the tobacco review show if you want to see the full review show after watching this clip, 
Otherwise, watch, sticking with me, thanks again for watching it all. L&M Redstone, stylish looking box. Have a not very nice house warning about your teeth on the back. Made by British, sorry, made by Philip Morris. And a big thank you goes to Max, Red Bull double five double five double two for sending me these in the pack shop. I like the pack design, pretty cool, simple but effective. Let's get this up, king size cigarette. Lung damage. 10 milligrams of tar, 0.8 milligrams of nicotine, 10 milligrams of carbon dioxide. They've got 85.5% tobacco in, paper and cigarette 6%, and agents and flavourings, etc., and additives 8.5%. I'm going to sneeze, so I'll be back in two seconds after my sneeze. Sorry about that, guys. I wanted, I still kept this in and not redid it because I wanted the original unboxing done on the video. Nice burnt on. The cigarette's got a sort of edge on it. It's not as smooth as a candle. It's camel mixed in with a bit of Rossman's and Dunhill. And really, really pleasant tasting. The only downside about the cigarette. It's got a very fast burn time, as you can see. That's the only thing letting it down. Apart from that, good quality tobacco in there. It's not chemically tested, even though it's got five FSE in them, like all European cigarettes. So the Burn time's letting you down a little bit. I'm going to give this an overall marking of 8.5 out of 10. Now, down in the description, which is down there, the couple of recommended channels, or quite a few, who've impressed me. First of all, I'd like to recommend OG Mafia 727, that's Jake from America. Six Review May from America also. Don't forget. Russ, who you saw the advert from. Personally recommended Aiden Blackheart, Ossig Reviews, and Boris Kaffers back doing reviews as well. Six Much from Canada, Cole Sig Reviews from America, German Sig Reviews, that's Dominic from Germany, who I did a pack swap with. Hutch the Smokers back, the J185 as well. Check out the Quality Irish Reviewer, OB Sig Reviews, MJG Sig Reviews, that's Matt from America. He's done quite a few quality videos, and I'm sure you know him as official Whitey White. From the UK, Mega Wolfman 1989. Then uh, I've got a blog down there, Jimmy G34567. I'm not going to read everyone else out. I Smoke 27 from the UK springs to mind as well. And check out all those I've mentioned and all those in the description. 
in a minute this is going to dissolve in, and I'll be back in two seconds with my final review. That's interval, blonde, 100% tobacco. And that's what's coming up. Either click back to the review show or stay with me guys. On our events, overall rating 8.5 out of 10, just to burn time, selecting it down a little bit. But still, quality cigarette. Stay lit. Okay, this final section deals with interval, blonde, 100% tobacco, 83 rolling tobacco. That's what it looks like. No additives in, I've ch checked the back, 100% tobacco. That's what it looks like. Quite a sweet smelling tobacco. Not overpowering. So let's get a filtered one, sorry, unfiltered one lit up. And well, before I drop them everywhere, let's get lit up. A big thank you goes to Max, the French guy, Red Bull double five double five double two for doing this in the pack swap again. Not the strongest, but mid strength, nice nicotine hit and a great taste again. I like the idea it's got no added chemicals in or additives, it's just 100% rolling tobacco. This is great. Rolling tobacco, it seems for it's one of the best I've had. If you're in France, try and get hold of some, or if you're in Belgium, I think they might sell it there. I'm going to get this unfiltered a 10 out of 10. This is great. Sadly, it's not available in the UK. As I said about just the field, Philip Morris, please let it be available over here. There would be a demand for it. Because of upload time, etc., this is going to dissolve and I'll be back with the filtered version. Okay, guys, the filtered version. As before, a very smooth rolling tobacco. Nice burn time on it. Into sweetness. And tastes just as good as filters. So, I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10 also. Now on Monday, it's the 21st of May, sorry, 21st of January, I will have been on this channel for two years. I haven't decided what the video is as of recording this one, because I recorded this last weekend, and I'm still racking my brains. I'll try and give a surprise. I, when I started this journey on the 21st of January, this channel was a little bit different to what it is today. I started doing reviews, and thanks to the pack swappers in the world, and this, I'll go mention them on Monday, 
I have experienced more tobacco products than the average UK smoker. I never imagined I'd have over 1300 subs. Thank you guys for making this channel what it is. Thanks for the feedback. And I'll go more into that in Monday's video. Getting back to the sinful 100% natural rolling tobacco. Once again, fucking amazing. 10 out of 10. Okay guys. If you're watching this as a section of standalone section, click back to the tobacco review show on the link down there. Thank you for been watching the whole tobacco review show, number 33. Yep, I've done 33 of these. I'll be back on Monday. Stay lit, thanks for your personal messaging, comments, ratings, and for what above all, subscribing and watching my videos. Interval rolling tobacco, one of the best. Stay lit guys and thanks for watching.